Hi, my name is Paige Colbranson, and I'm going to discuss today uh, voice output communicative aids for people uh, helping people communicate. Um, first of all, there are several different types of um, communicative devices that are voice output. Um, a couple examples of these are Proloquo to Go, uh, Touch Chat, Lamp, and they all are basically the same same outcome different layouts, different buttons, and different um, styles of learning and teaching. Um, they all have tons of pros. Um, one of the main pros, I think, is that you can change the layout so that you can change where the buttons are placed on the home screen, where the folders are, all the different buttons, the amount of buttons on the page, and also, one of the coolest things, I think, is that you can change the voice. Um, you can have a, an adult voice. You can have a male voice, a female voice, a child voice. So you can really give that child a voice to be able to be heard. And it sounds more natural than just a robot. And it just it's, it changes how um, you hear this person because then – if it's more natural sounding, it's that this person could be better integrated into um, classrooms with friends and into society in general. Another pro is that you are able to generate longer sentences. So you can actually put a full sentence like, I, I want to go home. So for example, you can have a full sentence. So you just type through and different the different buttons are on the screen and then you can go I want to go home when you touch the top bar on the app it will read the full sentence out for you and as you heard it is a I chose the adult male voice so it just really is more natural sounding so it doesn't sound exactly like a computer um, there's also different folders in here such as um, if you can see places, so you hit the places, and then there's all different types of uh, different places that you can go to, and you can choose from these different buttons, which really helps to create longer sentences instead of, for example, another system of communication, which is PEX, the picture exchange communication system, is where you give the child to give another person the picture of the item that they want, and then that person gives the item to the child. So it's that is a little more of a simpler. Um, system so the kids who are better suited to have full sentences it's really a pro for them to be able to have to make full sentences so they can add comments they can ask questions they can um, tell a story um, there's just a lot of different options than with the having to be able to say the longer sentences which really helps um, for independence with a child another pro is that um, what goes along with this is instead of just requesting items, just requesting different things from people, one word, you, you get, just get to use as many words as you want in a natural sounding voice. Um, it's also easy to take around with you for the most part. Um, there's not, whereas as I had mentioned earlier about PEX, there's a whole book to take around. This is just the iPad and you can add different pictures in. You can customize it. You can add different words in to customize. So it really just helps um, have everything right at your fingertips. Uh, some cons to go along with it is iPads can break, technology fails. That's always a challenge. Um, uh, it can die, the charger. You, you might need to charge it while you're out in the community setting. That makes it difficult. But as long as you can prepare and not get frustrated when technological issues come along, then it's really a great option. Um, Another problem is that it can be expensive. Proloquo to go can be up to $300 just for the app. This is not to mention buying the entire um, device as well. So it can really get pricey. Um, it just depends on whether the family can afford it and whether they're able to successfully use it. Um, and also it can, it can sometimes be hard for kids to carry around, especially when they're younger. So it may be better suited for an older group of ch uh, children. So maybe not like the very young ones that would have a hard time, like the three, two, three year olds might be harder to carry around an iPad. Whereas if you're getting older, like three, four, five, 
and older, they're able to um, hold the iPads hopefully better. Um, overall, this is just a really great natural form of communication that allows the children who have special needs and who have trouble communicating and forming sentences to be able to use this device. Um, as so long as they are able to um, see it and be able to be trained on it, which is also something that a speech pathologist can help with. They're able to assess to see what the best method of communication system would be. But these are so easy. The voice output communicative aids and uh, Proloquo specifically, this is Proloquo, is um, the, such an easy way to modify it for hopefully most children um, on the spectrum so that they're able to really be a part of society and be able to have their own voice be heard.